Now to get power to the tool and get the control computer connected. Here is what we are covering in this section. Connecting the cabling, checking the connection and installing drivers, loading the firmware, which includes powering on the tool. Plugging everything in is, of course, very straightforward, but it can't hurt to cover the cabling in proper order of operations. First, make sure the red switch cover and switch are down. Then, plug in the remote button pendant. This has the large gray Wago connector with six holes and clips to hold it in place. Make sure to line up the rounded edge and plug it in. Push until the clips snap into place and the plug is secure. Next, plug in the power cable to the tool and then to the outlet. Finally, plug in the USB cable to the tool and PC. Before powering the tool on, head over to the PC and let's set up the connection. In Windows 7, 8, or 10, go to the Start menu or press the Windows key on your keyboard and then type into the search bar Device Manager. Click to open the Device Manager utility. If you have been following along to this point, we should find the ShopBot device listed in ports as ShopBot Controller with a COM number already assigned to it. If you do, skip forward to the firmware loading step now. If you don't see the device in ports, then we should find the device listed with a yellow exclamation point error titled V204 ShopBot found in the Other Devices or Unknown Devices section, just like you see here when I remove the driver. Loading the driver is very simple. The driver is installed with the ShopBot 3 software. Once we identify the unknown ShopBot device, right-click on it and find the Update Driver Software option. Select this option, and on the following screen, be sure to select Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Do not click the Search Automatically option. If you do, then recovering from the wrong driver being installed can be a hassle. In the following window, make sure the Include Subfolders box is checked. Then click the Browse button. A list of folders on the PC will be displayed. Expand the primary device, which should be the C drive. Then expand Program Files x86. Then scroll to the ShopBot folder and expand it. Then the ShopBot 3 folder. Then click the ShopBot 3 folder so it is highlighted. Then click OK. Click Next on this window and the computer will now install the driver. If after installing you still see the V204 ShopBot with an error, simply right click, update, browse, and then next, just like we just did. Now back on over to the ShopBot 3 software. If in easy mode, we are going to switch over to full mode. Click the blue question mark and select switch to full in the subsequent window. We should now have the command console displayed. From the command console, select utilities, Install Control Box Firmware, or simply type UI. In the Firmware Installer window, we will have some instructions. First, we get a reminder to make sure any powered accessories on the tool are turned off. Check this box now. Unless the tool, VFD, or custom accessories are currently powered. If they are, turn them off now and then check this box. The next step is to power off the tool, if on. Our tool is currently off, so I will check the box. You'll see a new window appear. Once the window pops up, flip the red cover open on the desktop power switch and flip the power on. Look back to the computer screen and the firmware installer progress bar should be running along. Let this finish up and then check the final box and click close. Head over to the red position window, click the move cut option and the tool is now connected.